standing and talking to his dad in the trailer. And then the next scene, he's like fat as hell. Yeah. He's like, he's fat as hell, walking with crutches. And that's when he goes to the prison and spits truth to like these hardened, you know, rapists and killers who, you know, he, he, he's, <laughs> he connected, as Felix, you said, he connects with them on their level because he's like, you know, do you think God cares if you're a piece of shit? We're all pieces <laughs> of shit. He's like, if you pick up the phone to talk to your wife, she's probably banging some other guy. Your kids, they probably wish you were dead. But God, <laughs> y- you can call him anytime. And these guys it's are like, like wow, the, damn. He, he's talking to them like like Larry Miller's hostage negotiator character from Best in Show. Where it's like, he goes in and he's like, I will fucking gouge your eye out with this thumb. I shit you not. Yeah, he's like, shit, if my legs worked, I'd probably be in the Bloods and the Crips as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is after, like, he goes there with his roommate, the gay priest, and, like, the gay priest is, like, he walks through those doors, and he's he's shook as hell. And then he gets yeah. up there, and he's like, uh, uh, God uh, commands us to shine light into the darkest places. And then, like, immediately they're like, dark? What, you mean because we're black or because yeah. we're it's scary or yeah, whatever? Yeah, they're just, like, like out uh, of place little... racial humor moment. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of both. A little bit yeah. of column A, a little bit of column B. And then, you know, that's where his father, Stu, takes over and, like, you know, yeah. he, ra- he raps with these hardened fellows. Yeah, Father <laughs> Stu, yeah, the, 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 the gay priest has, does a misstep by using the word dark or black or whatever, and Father Stu's like, no, I know, how, I know how to handle black people. I beat one in basketball. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, from there, it's just, uh, I, like you said, the last quarter or so of this movie is, uh, ooh, it's, uh, it's quite a slog, but it's basically his... Uh, Disease progresses and uh, you know ravages his body, and then worst of all, Malcolm McDowell says, y- "You're you can't be a priest. Like the, the diocese is worried that you're gonna like drool on the communion wafers and fall <laughs> down, and you're just you know you're you know you're not you're not you're not projecting strength here. You know like pe- pe- people they want to come to church. They want to feel they want to feel." Like exalted, they want to f- they want to forget their humdrum existence, and they're not going to do that if there is some priest in a wheelchair who can't like you know <laughs> wipe his own ass up there uh, t- talking to them. And he's like, uh, he, you know, he's like he, he could not be could not be any lower, you know. And he's like he's he's on his knees in the church, and he's like, why, why God? And then Mel Gibson, you know, he come after Ham calls Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Gibson comes to the church and like you know picks him up off the. The, the floor, which, he, which he's been, like, you know, prostrated himself at for, for days or whatever, scoops him up and takes him back home to Boston, Massachusetts. I'm uh, Sorry, Helena, Montana. He takes him <laughs> <laughs> Boston, Montana. In Boston, Montana. He takes him home to Boston, Montana to, you know, to, to be with family in the, you know, waning, waning years of his life. And, you know, they're, they're, in, they're, they're in big sky country, and, you know, he thinks, like, damn, I guess I'm never going to be a priest. And then his dad puts on a tie, and he's like, son, I'm taking you to church. I'm going to get you to church on time. The car breaks down. There's no phone number for him to call and leave a expletive-filled tirade. Um, so, he, <laughs> so he breaks out the wheelchair, and he pushes him to the, lo- the, the one Catholic church in the entire state of Montana, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he's like, he's like, and then who's at the church? Carmen, Carmen is there dressed in all white. And he's like, he's like, oh, what? Do I get to marry her now? And they're like, no, you're marrying the church. Yeah. They wheel him in there. And Malcolm McDowell is there. And he's like, I talked to the diocese. They've agreed to ordain you as a priest. And it's like. They just won't just- let you anywhere near the communion <laughs> wave. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the real, this is the real emotional, you know, climax and catharsis of the movie. And then you know, like uh, he's he's in the he's in the, the 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 vestments of the priest. He's been ordained, and now he can finally take confession. And who does he take confession from? The gay priest. The gay priest confesses the sin, not of being gay, but of never really wanting to be a priest in the first place, and feeling envy, feeling the sin of envy, because he looked at you know he looked at Father Stu, who had every reason. To stop being a priest, and really no reason to be a priest in the first place, but it never let him stop. That he never let that stop him from becoming ordained and becoming a man of God. And then, of course, Mark Wahlberg, he gives him like a like a, a necklace of of of, of Joseph. The, oh, the, the same one he got before he goes into surgery. Yeah, 
He gives him a necklace devoted to Joseph. <laughs> Not the stepdad, the dad who stepped up. And he said, imagine, <laughs> imagine how Joseph must have felt being the second most important dad ever. You know, and never, never get any credit for it. So pray on Joseph while you uh, continue to, uh, I don't know, not want to be a priest and struggle with your own that <laughs> sexual is an identity. Awful, that's an awful scene because it was real. I, I could feel that every like man in the audience turned to their girlfriend and was like, he's going to say he's gay now. Like I, that, <laughs> yeah. It's such a, cl- like, it's, it's a, uh, they teed it up perfectly and they just, yeah. It. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that was something where they put, they had to ADR out the, the gay yeah. confession <laughs> yeah. at the last second. <laughs> I, I was on a missionary trip to Germany and I got into Bergheim. Well, they just I was so I was so attracted to you, Father Stu. Yeah, I couldn't like that's help what myself. I was... That's why I was trying to tear you down. I needed I you to stop being be a priest a, so I could marry you. A continuation of Mark Wahlberg's like like uh, super straight, awesome Catholic guy fantasy, where he's like, yeah, even gay guys think I'm hot, but yeah. instead he, it, he just says nothing, dude. The, the yeah, last the, the, act the, of this movie is really like they're the, really struggling for something. Because they in real life, the real father Stu, he was he 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 died like one second after the movie ended. Yeah. Like almost immediately. I heard that the original the original confession scene was that the, the gay priest confesses to being gay and then and then boiling hot oil starts filling the confession. <laughs> <room>. <laughs> like a saw trap. They say we got him and then Father yeah. Stu hits a button. <laughs> father, father Stu was not him. sick at all. Yeah. He, he yeah. Just hang operation. I was never even a boxer. I was always a, a priest. I've always been the greatest actor of all time. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh I, I guess the like the little coda to the movie is uh Mel Gibson in AA. You know, after after a life of being angry at God and not believing in him, he's finally admitted that uh he needs help. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, his son wants him to get baptized. And, like, the last scene you see is Mel taking the first step on the road to recovery, and he's got the rosary in his hand. You know, and, like, and through, through, through the help of Jesus, he's going he's gonna to stop drinking. Um, uh, so, yeah, and, then, and then, then, then we see the real Father Stu in the credit sequence, you know. I'm going to tell you, he got his, yeah, the, his ass is dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, his, he really needed to live, like, first. 15 more years for this movie to be, have an ending. But yeah. he did. He yeah. was a, he was a priest. He was ordained, and then he was an active priest for like a year and a half. And then he got too good at being on the floor, and they had to move him to a, a permanent <laughs> a permanent floor in Montana. And he was on the floor until he died. Yeah. Oh fuck! I just remembered. There's like a li- there's a Billy Madison Sunday School scene in this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I oh, forgot yeah. about that. He talks yeah. to kids it's about implied- porno. Yeah, he talks to kids about porn and sex, and then it's implied that he's been going to Sunday school with, like, Mexican <laughs> children. Yeah. For a week. yeah. Yeah, they're, like, nine years old, and he's learning He's learning about, <laughs> about Lent with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and teaching them about pornos. Because, like, one of the kids, he's like, he's like I'm going to give up alcohol for Lent. And then the kid's like, you should give up something that you really like. Like, my dad gave up porno. And then he's like, "Oh, like your your mom should give up sex and, and see how your dad." And then and then Carmen's like, "Nope, nope, nope. Next lesson, everybody op- open their Bibles." And yeah, no, the, yeah, you're right. It was a a great Billy Madison scene where he's he's learning about God with a seven year old. If 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 giving up peeing your pants for Lent is cool, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, uh, that's Father Stu. I mean, did it, did I forget any scenes in the movie or were there any other moments that uh, stood out to you guys? I, honestly, yeah. I can't remember. Be- te- <laughs> terrible yeah. movie. Needed more. Needed more Fast and Furious car crashes. Needed yeah. more Charla Nash Jesus. Needed just more <laughs> more stuff going on across the board. Boring as fuck. Uh, the it was the really old rough. One, the old guy who sat near us in the theater when we saw it fell asleep like three minutes in and was asleep the whole time, he, except for one point where he raised his hands in the air like this. Which, I, I, at the time, I thought he was praising the Lord, but now I'm realizing he was waking up from a nap like a cat, and he was yeah, just he was stretching <laughs> his arms all the way up. No, he caught the Holy Ghost. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, he, he, like, he was sleeping during the diagnosis scene and was like, oh, wait, did that happen to me? <laughs> I'm sure I could still like, move my arms. Uh, yeah, just, just an excruciating experience excruciating movie uh as, as we said at the beginning catholic filmmaking is about a billion times more pretentious than the protestant variety i um i don't think a catholic can ever make assassins 32 ad mm-hmm. but um I'm, I'm glad to be done with it 
Um, I do have I have some non Father Stu related business, but it's still a uh, call from the Lord, similar to what Stu faced. Uh, Mary Newman, Illinoisans may know her of Illinois' third district, is in trouble. Uh, she voted against the Iron Dome and. They started an ethics investigation o- on her over some bullshit. I won't try to summarize it after summarizing Father Stu. That's just too much information for everyone to take in. But she needs donations. She needs help. She is one of the few like, good uh, congressional reps. And Illinois always needs more of them. So please help out Mary Newman if you are so inclined. Uh, Felix, send me the donation link, and I will put in the show description. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, dang that that does it for another another trip to the movies, another trip to church, the church of cinema. And, you know, like uh, this is this is another wonderful entry into the film canon, the Chapo film canon. It's Father Stu, everybody. Um, oh, and then pot about list. You boys are about yeah, to go we on have the some road. Church for you guys to attend. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, speaking of Illinois, we're going on. T- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. go. What make us feel like assholes for plugging our tour now? Yeah, feel like. <laughs> I'm, no, I think they're co-equal. Oh, like I, you guys both voted against the Iron Dome. <laughs> oh yeah, and they're after us too. So go to swagpoop.com/slash/shows. <laughs> yeah, Philadelphia, <laughs> DC, Richmond, Atlanta, <laughs> Fort Worth, Austin, L.A. San Francisco, Chicago. Come check wow. us out. Wow. And Please. Israel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> We're going to Israel. Uh, it's a June show. Patrick is going um, to Israel doing a one-man show about his yeah. relationship with the faith. Well, I'm going there on birthright. <laughs> I earned catch it. Catch him there. After seeing Father Stu, I want to convert. <laughs> <laughs> to Judaism? Yeah. <laughs> All right, gang. We are Chapa Trap House. Thanks again to Pot About List for uh, joining us today and, and, and seeing this movie. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, that's, that does it for today's show. Cheers, everybody. Right. Bye. 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 Long draft time for the hip priest. Uh.